Well, here in Georgia, Republican Senator Kelly Leffler picked up a major endorsement today, hoping that will sway undecided voters in November's special election. Nikki Haley, former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, says Senator Leffler is the best choice. CBS 46's Carolyn Ryan is at the Cobb County Republican headquarters in Marietta with more on what this could mean for Leffler's campaign. Well, certainly the endorsement of a former U.N. ambassador, former governor of a neighboring state of South Carolina is a big win. At the very least, it's going to get people talking because uh, despite an onslaught uh, early on of TV ads, Leffler is still relatively unknown here in Georgia. The millionaire business executive, of course, appointed by Governor Kemp last December to take over for Senator Johnny Isaacson, who was retiring. She'll hold that seat until November, at which point there will be a special election for the remaining two years of Isaacson's term. Of course, she is going up against a huge name in the Republican Party, Congressman Doug Collins. Collins has gotten a ton of national media over the last year defending President Trump during the failed impeachment trial and is well liked on Capitol Hill. So why would Haley endorse a political newcomer over a well-known and well-liked conservative congressman? Well, I mean, I have nothing negative to say about Doug Collins. He's been a good public servant. He's a great American. At the end of the day, I strongly believe in term limits. I think we need new voices. I think we need new faces and I think we need new ideas. And before she was a UN ambassador, ambassador for the Trump administration. Haley was the former governor of South Carolina. Whether she has enough clout to make an actual difference here uh, in Georgia with voters, well, that remains to be seen, but surely it can't hurt, especially when it comes to that vital suburban women voting bloc. I'm going to do more research, just kind of see, you know, more about how Doug Collins has voted in the past. Um, but I just, I like being a female. I, I just like to see a female up there in power and fighting for us. And of course, Haley remains extremely popular among GOP voters as evidenced by the turnout here at today's event. She left the Trump administration in 2018, sparking rumors she may eventually make a run for president. In Cobb County, Carolyn Ryan, CBS 46 News. Carolyn, thank you. And you can download the free CBS 46 app to stay up to date on all state and national political news. The app is free for Apple and Android users.